Hello, so what I would like to show you in this uh, short video today is how to send emails with uh, apps script. So this is something you might need if you have a, let's say, a database of clients in Google Sheets and you'd like to reach out to some of them, right? So the first thing we'll do is to go into Tools and Script Editor. What we will first do now is to define the active spreadsheet and the active sheet in which we are working to reference back to that uh, email demo um, Google Sheet. So we'll just start by doing var and uh, I'll call the spreadsheet spreadsheet. We'll use spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Um, then I'll have another sheet that I'll call, say, main sheet. And we use spreadsheet dot get active sheet. OK, so now we've defined uh, the spreadsheet and the sheet um, in our script. What we uh, then need to do is to um, define um, which is going to be the uh, recipient of the email, uh, what is the first name, what is the last name, uh, and use the mail app function to send an email. So if you type mail app dot send email and you select this one, so you, you will notice that we need a recipient, we need a subject, and we need a body. The body is the um, the message that you want to send, right? So if I want to define the recipient, I need to uh, define it here. And you can see that let's just try to send an email to um, to Eric, right, in our uh, second row. So you can see that the email address is in uh, the cell B2. So that's what I need to define here, the recipient. So we'll just take uh, main sheet dot uh, get range, and we know that this is in B2, so row number two and column number two, dot get value, okay? So um, if you, uh, I'll just delete that for now. If you look now, uh, we'll just log that in to see what do we have. Just save it, run it. And look at your log you notice that i have the email address that i need okay so um, i'll now uh, define the um, subject of the email um, let's just say this is just a test open me okay and let's just define the the message right so we'll start with a simple message saying Thanks for opening me. Just a test. Sorry, you didn't win the lottery. OK, so now what you can try is to have the uh, mail app function, then send email. Uh, and then we just need to change body by message, because that's the name of our variable. OK, um, and if you try to save it and run it, let's see what happened. I go back to my mailbox and look at that. I have an email here. OK, so it's just a very basic email that we have, right? Let's try to make it a little bit better. So I would like to uh, reference the name of uh, the uh, user. So let's just try to get Eric there. Um, I will change that. So in the message, I will add um, Eric in there. So if you do that, you need to concatenate the um, the variable. So just uh, do it like this, and then you need to add a plus. Um, and then this is when we will uh, need to um, locate the the, the first name of the of the user. So I'll just type main sheet dot get range. And we can see that 
Eric's name is in the cell C2. Okay, so that's the row number two and the column number three. Then I just need to put the apostrophe again. Um, and then I just want to add a dot here. So I'll just have this. Okay. Uh, so let's try and see what happens. Let's save it, run it, go back to our mailbox and it does not work. So it just says range and it's because I did not uh, specify that I want to get the value. Okay. Let's try again. Run it. And you see that it works now. So it says, thanks for opening me, Eric. So that's what we want to do. So that's just very basic. Um, what if we wanted to uh, filter through this list, right? So I have a lot of different names, a lot of different emails. So just for my simulation, I have the same email everywhere. But let's say we would want to get the um, we would want to send an email to Mark, right? Uh, and we will need to look for, to filter for Mark before we send the email. That's something you might need to do. You might have different applications. Um, so let's try to see how we would do that. So um, what I will do, um, I'll need to um, define where all of my data would be. So I just type variable uh, data and um, I just need to define the range where this data will be. So we know that it's in the main sheet. I use get range um, and I'll take this one. So the data you can see starts from the row A2. So that's the second row, first column. For the number of row, and you can um, refer to another video I have on how to get the last row or the last column. Uh, but I'll just uh, type it now. So main sheet dot uh, get last row minus one because I have a, a header here so it doesn't count uh, and the number of column is main sheet dot get last column okay so that's my data uh, and what I will want to do now is to define the um, the row where um, where that value is. So we'll say we want to see uh, the, the, we want to capture this data. So the data, uh, the ID, the email address, the first name and the last name for um, a, uh, when we're looking for Mark, okay? So I'll just type um, variable new data equal data dot filter. Um, and I'll use a function here with an item parameter, okay? Uh, and it's a function, so we'll have to define it like this. Um, and I need to return um, the item number. Um, so we need to count the, the number of columns that we have. So we have one, two, three, four. Um, we know that in an array, the first column or the first element, the first object is zero. So it would be um, zero, one, and two. So I would have to do item number two equal, and I'm looking for, let's say, mark. Okay. So, and I need to close the bracket here. Okay, so let's uh, let's just have a look and see what do we get when we log uh, this new data. I'll just remove this for now because otherwise you will send an email every time I'm running it. Uh, let's save it, run it. So we have a problem here. And that is simply because I only defined the range, but I did not capture the value. So I just need to add in data, get values. Okay. Uh, let's try again. And you can see that in, uh, so we just looked at the new data variable and I have the row for 
mark, right? So I have all the data. I have the ID, the email address, the first name, and the last name. So um, that allow us to that allows us to um, redefine the the uh, recipient and uh, the first name here quite easily. Um, so um, the thing that you notice is that we actually have uh, two uh, brackets here. So it basically means that we have an array inside an array. So I want to make it a little bit simpler uh, because we only have one uh, one uh, one line we're only looking. So what I will need to do is I'll just type new data equal new data zero because there's only one um, one one record in there. And you can see that if I now uh, log this here, let's see what happens. You see now I, I oops, I actually need to run it. So see, we now have a simple uh, one dimensional array. So what I can do now, I can just delete the console. Um, instead of having this long um, line of code, I will just replace that by uh, the recipient. So the email address uh, is in the um, second position in the array. So that's position number zero and position number one. So I'll just need to type data one. And I can also change this one by, you probably guessed it, data and that would be number two okay so let's save that um, now we'll just add the mail app function send email oops so we have let's just get the right one okay so we have the recipient the subject and the message Okay, let's save it and run it and see if we get the same um, result. We don't because the email is not valid. Um, let's see why. Um, that's actually because I'm not looking at data, but I'm looking at new data. So I just need to change that. New data here and new data here. Let's save, run it again. Go back to our email and you can see that we have the right, um, the right name here that the email got sent. So everything seems to be working fine. So that's just a first video on how to send an email uh, using Google Apps Script. Um, I'll make a follow-up video a little bit later about how to send an uh, email formatted in HTML. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, um, you can like it and you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you.